new book if you are born with a thing you are not a chick again that's going to offend people but genetically that's true i raised two daughters they're two of the most well-adjusted adults they grew up around naked people and uh it's my guy walking around with his nuts out can anyone have an opinion about it people who are women gay men don't know nothing about what it means to be a woman so you're saying if you're not a woman then you shouldn't have an opinion where does a guy get a right to say what a woman is Oh my god. When the father spoke out, he was arrested and fined $30,000 for misgendering his 13 year old daughter. What is going on in the world? Am I going crazy? Greetings and salutations ladies and gents, welcome back to Hit or Miss TV, my name is Ramon. Today on the show we're going to be watching a brand new documentary that's just come out and it's called What is a Woman? Documentary for 2022 and it's by Matt Walsh. From the title you know that this is going to get controversial and on the channel I'm trying to do a bit more news stuff, doing the reactions to stuff like the Johnny Depp trial which you've all been watching so thank you for everyone that subscribed this is another topic that i feel is going to test people i think it's going to cause controversy and i think it's something that's worth talking about because around the world the whole conversation around the trans community it's such a big topic of discussion it really is so i don't know lots i know bits and bobs and i know matt walsh from a video that went viral about two or three months ago it might have even been longer than that he was on the dr phil show which i love i love dr phil guilty pleasure and i loved um back in the 90s i loved what's his name take care of yourselves and each other um what's his name jerry springer that's it jerry springer i saw this guy on dr phil discussion was with two people from the trans community and he was asking what is a woman so this is probably something that's been built up for a long time and I think it's good regardless of what side of the fence you sit on, we've got to have this conversation. So I'm going to watch this now. If I laugh, don't take it like I'm being mean or horrible, but I expect some of this is going to be in the attempt to get controversial reactions because that's what this guy seems to do. What is a woman? 2022, Matt Walsh. Let's do it. Dirty, dirty, dirty. Being a dad is one of the great privileges of my life. I've heard people say that there are no differences between male and female. Okay. Those people are idiots. So he's going straight in right at the very beginning. He's saying, you know, those out there not sure what a woman is are idiots. So yeah, I think he's he's going in straight, you know, straight on the the attack to sort of get a reaction out of people. So I can see why this would cause issues and we've only just started i like to make sense of things but making sense of females is a whole other matter making sense of females is a whole other matter i agree with that mate i completely agree with that anyway this goes without the whole <laughs> diving into things women are mad <laughs> is there a son trapped in my daughter's body if so how do i get him out are any of my kids who they claim to be who are these people <laughs> i mean he is taking the piss in the state of tennessee i'm a licensed therapist from the minute I was assigned female, I was told, okay, these are the kind of clothing that you're going to wear, these are the kind of yeah, but the type of play. That's kind of normal, though, because boys and girls do like different things. Looking at a very, very basic level of things, when I was told I was a boy, as a boy, I was told I was a boy, I liked He-Man, I liked Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. When I saw my sister was into She-Ra, My Little Pony, dolls, all that kind of stuff, it weren't really for me. Um, wasn't it just wasn't my sort of thing I was into boy stuff because I'm a boy that's the very basic level of my life who assigns female the doc doctors yeah like, what do they what do they base that assignment on so basically it's it's based on genitalia I don't mean it in a bad way but I know he wants to laugh but the thing is for anyone that gets triggered by this and we know now that like that sex and gender are <laughs> I know he wants to like binary. I personally don't think you should be triggered about this because he's speaking like a child like well what is a man what is a woman what's what's a car what's a bike he's he's speaking on behalf of of the rest of the planet that doesn't keep up to date with all of this stuff. I don't keep up to date with all of this stuff. I'm bisexual. My, I've got family members that are gay. But when you look at the ever-changing and evolving world of the LGBTQ, is it QI now? I don't even know because I don't follow it. It's not that I don't care, but just because a certain community goes a certain way, you can't expect the rest of the planet to constantly evolve and know things because if you think about it over the last year it was just gay and lesbian then it was gay lesbian and trans 
then it was LGBTQ, then it's LGBTQI. So I don't know what half of any of it means, but you can't throw that on me and say, well, you don't know what that means. I've got the rest of my life to live, bro. Live. Why do you care what I think? It doesn't matter, does it? Who cares what I think? You know what I mean? Some women have penises, right? Some men have vaginas. Uh, how do we know that that's not true? Where, where do we learn that from? Hearing from transgender people who've said, oh, I'm a trans woman. Boom. There you go. See what I said right at the very, very beginning. I heard is a, from a trans woman. See, that's what I said. That's how I did. I personally identify people. I say that's a trans woman. That's a trans man. I'm fine with that. There's no problem with that. Cool. No problem. Who they are, their gender, their gender expression, that, yeah, a trans woman is a woman. That's the problem. That's the problem, see? They're saying a trans woman is a woman. But you've just said two, like, two, in my my mind, when I hear that, it's two things, it's two, you're saying two things that c conflict. You're a, a trans woman is a woman. So you're not a trans woman, you're a woman. But you just said you're a trans woman. So you're a trans woman or are you a woman? Because to me, they're two different things. My mum's a woman, she was naturally born a woman. A trans woman is someone who's transitioned. That, to me, is the basis of where all the debate comes from, what you're actually labelled as. How do I know if, if I'm a woman? That's a great I like, question. I like scented candles. And yeah. I've watched Sex and the See, he's taking the piss. That question right there, right, that's the beginning of a lot of people's, like, gender identity development journeys. And my wife is a woman. Um, yes. Though I haven't asked her. <laughs> But if they're all women, and also the boy who sits down with you and says, I, I think I'm a girl, actually is one, then, then what is a woman? Mm. It's a very, very simple question, and I know people are going, well, it's sarcastic, but it's a true thing. If you're trying to say that everyone could just change and be whatever they say they are, what is a woman? He could have said, what is a man? Because it's the same thing. It applies, you know, back and forth. And I agree with that sentiment, and it, I don't know how people perceive things to mean anymore. That's why I'm saying we need to have rules, in my opinion, in society as to what things are. A woman is someone that likes to be pretty and think of themselves as a delicate creature. I'm pretty and delicate. Okay. <laughs> Dr. Marcy Bowers is the nation's preeminent sex change surgeon. And let's be blunt about it. It's getting my, my tings and chopping them off. Do I think I should be doing that? Nah. I think that's messed up. Because that's how I see it. I think that's messed up. Like, oh, mate, I couldn't even imagine. Imagine going to a surgeon getting it chopped. Oh, my God. No way. However, that's how I feel for me. If someone's suffering from gender dysphoria and truly feels that that's the right thing for them to do, I don't care. Like, I don't, I don't mean it in a bad way. I don't mean it in, like, I don't care. No, you can't. I mean, I don't care. If that's what you feel that you need to do for yourself and you, you believe truly that that's what's gonna give you identity and a place on earth in society and you will be happy? Cool, man, like go for it, if that's what you think. I know it's to make light of the situation and it's, again, it's because it's the only way I know how. I've got tattoos all over my body. Some people will look at that and go, that's disgusting, you've ruined your body. But that's a choice that I wanted to make for me because it's what I wanted and I'm happy with it. So it's not the same thing. It's not even remotely close to the same thing. But I've always been supportive of, if you want to get, there's, there's people that have them implants in their heads, like the horns and stuff, you know what I mean? Or tattoo their eyeballs and stuff. I think it's nuts. I think you're nuts to get that done. However, if you choose to get that done and you are truly going to be happy doing that, go for it. I'm speaking on what, for me, you speak on for you. But I don't think... I've got a right to tell someone that they can't do it or they shouldn't. I just think, I wouldn't do that. Imagine tattooing your eyes. It's going to be bloody painful, you know, and it's there. I just wouldn't do it. I just wouldn't do it. But if someone wants to do it and it makes them happy, I'm happy for them that it makes them happy. Do you see what I mean? And that's the way I feel about the, the um, I don't even know what the right word, it's not castration, but you'd call it gender reassignment, but it is, it's cutting, castrating, cutting off bits. I just... Oh my God, no, I couldn't do it, mate. No way, no fucking way. <laughs> so you're a world-renowned gynecologist and surgeon. You're also a transgender woman. Can you tell me a little bit about- Well, I mean, I, I identify as a woman. So it's a trans, right, so this is a transgender woman and they've just said, I identify as a woman. And I would, I would treat, that's what I'm trying to get at. I would treat a person who's a transgender woman 
if that's how they identify, I'd go Cole. If that's how you, and I would treat them the same as I would treat a woman. But if you ask me the the, the question face to face, and that and this person said to me, "Do you think I'm a woman?" I would say you're a transgender woman because that's how I feel. But if you're identify, that's the problem. Do you see what I mean? That's where the conflict is. But you can't force me to say you're a woman the same as my mum. And again, gender dysphoria social construct it's a never-ending cycle and i don't know how we're ever going to get to the bottom of it he's gone in straight away with that we're altering the physical characteristics of the individual to fit better with a gender identity that is female constructed from the penis yes oh mate that's got to be ridiculously painful does anyone ever regret Surgeries are that's a good we question. Know they do, but how often do people there are legitimate detransitioners and there are people who truly feel that's a good question that in their journey they may have made a mistake. In this kind of marginalized community was went to the doctor and said, I want to have my arm cut off. That doesn't have anything to do with gender identity. That's nothing to do with transgenders and that's that's nothing to do with that. But that's what I was trying to say initially. Who gets to decide everything? Do you see what I mean? Who gets to label things in society? That's that's where we're at. And I think the discussions, these talks need to be had. And I know that people will be out there that hate this because they say, well, it's mocking the trans community. I don't think it is. Yeah, maybe he is a little bit. And he's being sarcastic and asking silly questions. But you've got to think not everyone in the world thinks the way you do. Not everyone thinks the way I do. But what is a woman? A woman, it's a combination of your physical attributes and then what you're showing to the world and the gender clues that you give. You have to have open discussion whether we like it or not. That's the only way for society to progress. That's the only way we all progress. That's how I look at it. There aren't many who would disagree with what you're saying about... Well, you know, the dinosaurs of the world are... I think that's, again, see, this person... Again, I, I disagree with that. To say that there's not many people that think this way is very, very naive. Do you know what? I'm so glad we're having the conversation because this is probably going to trigger some of you. It's going to... It's not about that. It's about the conversation. This could have been about race. It could have been about faith, religion, Muslims, Islam. It could be about anything. I think these discussions, people need to communicate from different sides and different paths of the world because it's the only way we progress. How long have you been uh, running the shop here? 25 years. Ah, oh, this is the fella um, with the shop. Aberdeen Councilwoman T.S. Yeah, 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 yeah. confronted owner Don Sucre about a sign he posted in his... What's it say? Let's, let's read that out. Whatever, I can't see it. It's a new book. If you are born with a thing, you are not a chick. Well, that's a fair enough thing to say. If you are born with a thing, you are not a chick. Well, that's true. Genetically, that's true, right? That's nothing... Again, it's going to offend people, but genetically, that's true. He came around the corner and I thought, OK, I recognise him. I says, uh, oh, I recognise you. You're our new city council. I'm jealous of I'm jealous of all the toys he's got there. Sorry, I'm a bit distracted. He's got all the original Star Wars stuff, the original X-wing up there. Oh, I used to have one of them as a kid. He says, "No, I'm your new city council woman." So it was it was kind of on from there. It's bullshit. Trans it's... women are women, sir. Trans women are women, sir. So that goes back to the same. That's the that's the confusion in the situation again. I'd say that a trans woman is a trans woman. But again, I don't see why does it bother people so much. I know you're going to get angry or whatever but people are going to say what they're going to say whether you like it or not you know people are going to say stuff to me someone do you know what someone said on a video i done about amber heard someone commented and said you're very very obnoxious something like that i go fine i know i'm not going to be for everyone i know there's going to be people out there that hate me that's fine but i knew that when i started a youtube channel so it's part and parcel of it and i have to accept that or quit doing youtube if this grows bigger uh, this video might get me backlash, but I know that, so I'm very careful in what I say, and I say what I feel. I don't th think anyone should hold back from that. I don't think you should ever hold back from that. But you're never going to be able to stop people feeling what they feel. You can't. How do okay. you know that that person's not a woman? Common sense. It don't matter to me. Just don't come in and try to shove that shit down my throat. You can't force people to, to think the way you think. I know that you believe that you're right. He probably believes that he's right well he does believe that he's right you can't go up to someone and say you must think and feel the way i do that's impossible you can't do that you know what i mean what about their, their feelings i, I mean, don't give a shit about their feelings i'm old what about the star wars universe <laughs> i don't give a shit about their feelings i'm old eh? see this is the older generation i mean i've got gray hair i'm getting there but i don't care 
And it's not that I don't care for the people. I do care about them. I hope they're happy. But you can't dictate that I think that way. Telling that family, based on that little penis, that your child is absolutely 100% male identified, no matter what else occurs in their life. Again, you have to have something. You can't just have babies born and go, they're nothing. Is that what people are suggesting? That we just, it's a baby, but it's nothing. You can't, it doesn't make sense. Is it a boy or a girl? I don't know. It's, it's, a, it's a baby. I do agree that people, and, and there are some children, very young age, that can know, again, not just about the whole transgender thing, this isn't about but being gay. Like There was one of my cousins years ago. We're talking in the 80s, and I was probably, like I was baby, young, young, young. But I remember one of my cousins, he was blatantly gay, blatantly gay. But we let him figure it out for himself. We all knew. It wasn't like to pressure him and talk to him about it. We just left him to it. But he was so feminine. Hi. Hi. And I'm like, well, he likes boys then. So what? It wasn't a thing to take the mickey out of him. But we had to let him decide when he was ready. Do you see what I mean? And I think as long as it's like that, that's fine. Let kids have time. That's my point. Let, let children have time to grow. Santa Claus is real for them, but yeah. Santa Claus is not actually real. Yeah, well, and, but Santa Claus does deliver their Christmas presents. Yeah, he does. I still believe in Santa. To that child, they are. When I see my sister, who... my, my sister still believes in Santa Claus. Yeah, she's flipping forty years old, and she drives me bloody mental. So, are gender and sex two different things, or they both are? And they aren't. I'd be, I'm comfortable saying that gender and sex are, are two different constructs, but they're deeply intertwined with each other. When people say, well, why do you care? Because I like to know what the difference is between a man and a woman. It's not just about the subject and making light of it, but like, in my, my world, in my vision, this is a vape machine. If someone says it's no longer a vape machine, it's a can of Red Bull, I don't understand why. Why, how, how do you define it? So you have to have a definition for things because if you don't have a definition of things, comes the confusion. And this is why there's so many debates around this particular subject, because there's confusion. One person, one community believes one thing and another community believes something else. You have to have a middle ground where everyone goes, okay, this is where we are and we're not there. That's, that's what I'm saying. At the moment is you lot there, you lot there, and everyone has their own belief. We need to have a middle ground and say, this is where we can all agree. Really uncomfortable with that language of like g getting to the truth again. In social why, why life- is that, Why is that uncomfortable? Because that, it sounds actually deeply transphobic to me. Why? I'm saying how to is, you- How is the word truth condescending and rude? Why don't you tell me what your truth is and you're walking on- This, this is, this is a problem. This is a problem I've noticed again in social media over the last year or two. I see a lot of people saying, what's your truth? There is no such, that doesn't exist. The only things that are my truth is I woke up this morning, that's the truth, that's what I did, that's true. This, that's what I'm trying to say, your truth, and then there's your truth. There's no such thing, there's the truth, and then there's false, there's true and false. True and false don't mean the same thing to different people. That's bonkers. To me, that's crazy. That's crazy talk. That is, that's nuts. But for him to get triggered by someone saying, what's the, the, the truth, the truth. Reality shouldn't be, you believe one thing and it's all good and you believe another thing. Cause then we're all on a different path and no one believes the same thing. That's, that's chaos. What my truth is? Well, I don't think I really have a truth. I think that there's just the truth. Truth, yeah. Like the reality. The truth, yeah. But you just said the truth is transphobic. Th that you would say, that you're, if you're saying the truth is that I get to say, you're not a man, show me your genitalia, that's transphobic. No, no. He's never said that. If I were to say that I'm a black man, would you accept that or would you s be skeptical? Are you black? Are you African American? Are you biracial? No, but see, he's too afraid to say it. This is what the problem is. He's clearly not black. He's Caucasian. He might be Mexican or Puerto Rican. I ain't got a clue what Matt Walsh's background is, but he's not black. I can see that. You can see that. You shouldn't be afraid to just say it. Yeah, well, you don't look that, and I don't think that's a... It doesn't sound like that's a genuine statement of who you are. See? So then it has to be, well, you're just doing it to... He's just getting mad now. Well, you're just trying to be annoying and try to 
patronising, which Matt Walsh probably is, but that's a genuine question that people do think, well, if you could just say it and then everyone's got to believe it, why can't I be black? Why can't I be Asian? I'm Korean, I'm South Korean. Well, you're not, are you? I could make a statement about who I am that's incorrect. Of course, I think it's well established that human beings can lie, yes. I, I don't understand why he's getting so mad just by the conversation. We need to have these conversations and it needs to be open, you know? It needs to be open. But I do think that there's probably bits in this that have been cut out because I can't see why he's getting so mad at this. Maybe, maybe that's just how it is. What is a woman? Why do you ask that question? I just really like to know. What do you think the answer to that question is? I'm, I'm asking, that's why I came to a college professor. What other kinds of answers have you gotten? I don't know why he's so mad. It shouldn't be difficult to answer that. I think it's interesting that you that you say that some of the people you've interviewed have been um, reluctant to answer it. And I think that has a lot to do with the way, the questions that preceded it, the way that you've conducted yourself in the interview. There may be clips in here, scenes in here that we're not seeing, because this is obviously all edited. That's, that's not me digging at Matt Walsh. I'm quite, as I say, I'm quite open to have the discussion and I don't think someone should be getting mad just by the open discussion about things. But if he's saying it's the way that he's asking questions, Maybe that's the case, I don't know. How do you think you've conducted yourself? <laughs> it's, just, it's just back with no one answers, do you see? I think it sounds like you would like me to give you a set of biological or cultural characteristics that... Yeah, but society, but society needs that, that's the point. Society does need that with everything. Gender dysphoria, which is an intense loathing and discomfort with one's biological sex right so that's what i'm talking about and that's what i understand of what a transgender person deals with from what i can imagine again i'm making this up i'm just going from an average joe's point of view is someone that's born so like me i would be born i look down and i see my things and i go this don't feel right i, sh I should have breasts i should have a vagina i should be a, a girl i believe i should i don't feel right the way i am and i can't cope with it and i can't deal with it and it gives me you know, like depression and, and mental health problems because I don't feel right in my body. That's my understanding. I might be wrong, but that's my understanding of what gender dysphoria is. So that's why I say I believe in that because I've dealt with mental health my entire life and I've, I've been on pills for sort of 25 years because of depression. Mental health is a very, very, very serious thing. So when someone says that, I go, I'll, I'll, I'll accept that. And I go, right, cool, I, under I can understand that. I can relate to that. So first, let's define the terms sex and gender. Yes, please. Okay. Sex is biology. Sex is unchanging. Gender, on the other hand, it's a feeling. It's a way of identifying. If a man is male, thinks of himself as a woman, he's not actually a woman? That's correct. It's such a big conversation. It's such a... It's never-ending, isn't it? It truly is a never-ending subject. Your sperm don't make you male. Then what does? It's a constellation. In reality. But sperm does make me a male. We're going, going with that thing again with the social construct of gender. Only men have sperm, women don't. My mum is never, ever going to have <laughs> a prostate. My mum's never going to have one. It's impossible, because she's not a man. This is what I mean. There isn't your truth and my truth, there is the truth. Whose truth are we talking about? The same truth that says... The ship one. You're not listening. I am rooted in reality and in science. There's one reality. No. Yeah. The two transgender athletes took off flying and left all of us girls in the dust. <laughs> Did they inch you out of medals that you would have won otherwise or trophies you would have they won? They beat me out by 20 meters. Jesus Christ! I was forced on the sidelines in my own event, and if they were not there, I would have been able to qualify. That's not fair, mate. So I missed out on so much throughout my high school career. That's messed up. We elite female athletes train so hard to shave just fractions of a second off of our time. I feel sorry for girls, young girls like this. This is fucked up, man. That's wrong. I'm sorry, I don't care. That's just wrong. That's gonna change that person's life. If they wanna be a, a sprinter or something else, she's gonna go, forget it, I'm not doing it no more because there's no way I can beat a man who identifies as a woman, see? But I don't think it's fair on them at all. It just gets to the point of, why am I even doing this? Why am I keep training so hard and sacrificing so much just to place third and beyond? What's the point, yeah. I'd be the same. Case in Connecticut, there were two male track Runners, trans they were trans girls, right? And who who decided that um, they were going to race against the girls? And right, transitioned, right? Okay. And then they're racing the girls in their first and second place. 
Is that indicative of some kind of unfair advantage that... I think so. That's not fair. They're not winning. You know, the Connecticut case is the exception. Um, it got a lot of attention because those two trans girls performed well. We just built differently. You can't change, you can't alter that. Only a few people are going to lead the pack. Yeah, there, are there is a difference. slight differences. Look at the fucking height. Side. Look at the height, bro. They're probably not even jumping. Look at the height difference. Oh my God. The last half of the pool, nobody will touch Leah Thomas. Imagine you're going into UFC and it's the body mass of a man. You're just beating up a woman. Do you know what I'm saying? You're beating up a woman. That's messed up. There you go. Black and white, mate. I mean, there, there are people who kind of really bought into the, to the rumor that um, only men have penises. What, how do we account for that? How, how do you respond to that? Um, a person who wants to use a woman's bathroom who identifies as transgender really does think of themselves as a female. Respect their basic right to live. He doesn't want to answer it. He doesn't want to answer it because he can't answer it. That's the problem. This is the problem that I'm kind of mystified that you're kind of not focusing on it first, that we're going straight to the controversy over bathrooms. You know what, I think this interview is over. All right, I can understand what he's saying. The congressman is saying, well, you've gone straight for that to be controversial, which Matt Walsh has done, yeah. But it shouldn't be difficult to answer that question. It shouldn't be difficult to answer that question. You should be able to just, yeah, you're a congressman. This is what it is. This is how it is. This is what we're going to do. The end. And everyone should be happy. The congressman, from his perspective, is probably doing the right thing to cut off and walk away because no matter what he says, no matter what answer he gives here, he's either going to be in trouble with the trans community and get cancelled. You see what I mean? There's no answer. He can't give a, wrong, a right answer because of the way society is now. This is the point. What is a woman? Please turn off the cameras. Excuse me. So we're going to end the interview. If you guys could please pack up and return the office exactly. I just wanted to know. Okay. Thank I came you. all this way to know what. Thank you. I know. I know Matt Walsh is being. Look, I know he's trying to be controversial and it's. It's, that's what he does. I know that. Even if he got around to that question and asked other questions first, this would have still been the outcome. Do you know what I mean? He could have gone around laws and about rights to live and this could have been an hour into the interview and we would have got this same outcome because no one can answer that. That's the point. So it kind of shows you that we're really not that far anyway in this comment we are we've progressed but so far to go it's sad really that it's like this i raised two daughters they're two of the most well-adjusted adults they grew up around naked people and uh, it's my guy walking around with his nuts out i have fewer hang-ups when they're adults people do have hang-ups there's a lot of things hanging right now <laughs> can anyone have an opinion about it people who are women gay men don't know nothing about what it means to be a woman so you're saying if you're not a woman then you shouldn't have an opinion who does a guy get a right to say what a woman is oh my god this is actually a genuine mistake i am sorry i even came up here exactly you want to tell us what a woman is oh dear oh dear oh dear oh dear i guess i need to go where the women are He's asking for trouble going here, mate. Even I wouldn't go here. Sod that. Do you guys know what a woman is by any chance? No idea. He's got some balls, literally. He's got some balls. Oh my God. He's gone to Nairobi. Oh my God, you're so lucky. I'd love to go there. I'm jealous, I'm jealous of this. It's the first thing in the video I'm jealous of. Oh. You're here to learn with me, I'm here to learn with you too. Great. They look awesome, don't they? It's just... Mad love, mad love. <laughs> That's rubbish, mate. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. There you go, alright. Yeah. Okay. That's a blood. Fair play to Matt Walsh for doing this and eating the food or whatever, he's done it. And a fresh kill as well. <laughs> A raw kidney. Wow. The role of a man and a woman would have been the same as, I guess we would have seen it a thousand years ago, a hundred years, you know what I mean? It's a different world. You compare, you're comparing two completely different 
societies as well so it's difficult to sort of compare western culture to this as well because you already know what they're going to say it's obvious what they're going to say non-binary uh-huh. you know like non like uh, someone is is uh, you're not a woman you're not a man it's, it's i just find it very very difficult in trying to compare a tribe that are living the way they've lived for thousands of years to maybe like how I live in London because it's we're worlds apart. We're, I wouldn't survive. I wouldn't survive a day out there like killing animals. Now I wouldn't know what to do. You know, it'd be a culture shock. So we know this is a lady, this is a man. What if it's a woman with a? What if it's a woman with a penis? What? She doesn't understand. <laughs> People are laughing. Is that is that a dumb question? <laughs> I wonder if you have someone that's born with gender dysphoria in a situation like this. Because it's a thing, right? Gender dysphoria is a thing. So I wonder if someone's born and they're not able to say anything through fear of what could happen to them. It's an interesting thing to look at though, isn't it? That's what I mean, it's a lot deeper than just one one thing. Sex with a woman. Yeah. And you f the vagina, is it? But yeah. for the man, where do you f I don't know all the logistics of it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, look at their costumes. Look at their outfits, man. It's clear that gender ideology is a uniquely Western phenomenon. So where did all this come from? Very, very, very good question to ask. 10 years and up. Here's just one page I want you to see here. Ten-year-olds see that. That's messed up, bro. That's disgusting. That's wrong. Whoa, 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 that's a bit messed up, man. Showing kids graphic photos of sex at 10 years old, that's a bit messed up, mate. That's nothing to do with being gay or straight. That's messed up. You shouldn't be showing children that. No, 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 no. That's wrong, mate. That's wrong. Why do you need to know about that at 10 years old? You don't. Jesus, what is going on in the world? Table 34, which documents the orgasms of very young kids. His ideas form the foundation for sexual education in public schools today. That's sick. That's sick, bro. 17 rounds of antibiotics. I had six inches of hair on the inside of my urethra for 17 months. Jesus. Nobody would help me, including the doctor that did this to me because I lost my insurance. I'm probably not going to live very long. That's messed up, man. For the first time in history, a marginalized group has a huge dollar sign on the top of their head. It's so, this is so disturbing to listen to. Again, it's hearing from someone who's had the surgery and the complications of having the surgery. To hear someone on the other side of the spectrum saying, I've had it done and they're, they're you know, I might not live long. This isn't the same for everyone, obviously. It's just this one case. Imagine the life this person's lived like, oh. I feel sorry for him, really, because it's... Oh, I wouldn't wish that on anyone. I have three kids at the age that they're doing this to kids. I'm not transphobic. I love my kids, and I love other people's kids, and you should too. That's fucking disturbing, man. I would never have known this. I would have never known about this person and the struggles that they're having. Just... It's shocking. It's just shocking. What's the, what's the youngest patient that you've operated on? The youngest patient I've done vaginoplasty on, age 16. Yeah, there you go. That's what I was trying to say to you earlier on. I still think that's a bit young. I'd say 18. That's just my personal opinion. But any younger than that, I think it's extremely dangerous. I just think that's extremely dangerous. Do you worry that minors just don't understand enough about themselves? They're not neurologically developed enough yet to make permanent life-altering decisions? Absolutely not. I can't speak for that person that just said that, but that's crazy to me. They could be aware to understand what they're doing at such a young age. I don't, I don't buy that at all. I just don't. <laughs> nah, nah. I think you need to be of some sort of a maturity age, 16 to 18. If, if, if someone needs like guidance, counseling and family and any type of therapy to help them up to that age, great and then make that decision but i think to to go getting gender reassignment and stuff you know under 16 12 10 years old 
A ta na kraj bude. Puberty blockers, which are completely reversible, don't have permanent effects. We can put that pause on puberty. Makes it sound so easy. How many studies do they have, long-term studies, on hormone blockers with children? None. They discovered after two years, this 14-year-old girl has osteoporosis. That's something that, like, old women get. That's actually quite upsetting. How can they be removing the healthy breasts of 15-year-old girls? How can they be sterilizing kids? To think, like, my little nephews and stuff to do something like that at that age? That's haunting. That's just haunting. In 2003, Lupron was sued and deemed a criminal enterprise by the US government. They paid the most. Ooh. So before continuing, I'm just going to read up what Lupron is because I have no idea, guys, and I think it's better for all of us to be a bit educated and read this out on Wikipedia. Luprorelin, also known as Luprolide, is a manufactured version of a hormone used to treat prostate cancer, breast cancer, endometriosis, uterine fibroids, and early puberty, chemical castration of violent S offenders, or as part of transgender hormone therapy. It's given by an injection into the muscle or under the skin. Common side effects include hot flushes, unstable mood, trouble sleeping, headaches, and pain at the site of injection. Other side effects may include high blood sugar, allergic reactions, and problems with the pituitary gland. Used during pregnancy may harm the baby. In October of 2001, the US Department of Justice States Attorneys General Anti-AP Pharmaceutical Products, a subsidiary of Abbott Laboratories, settled criminal and civil charges against TAP related to federal and state Medicare fraud and illegal marketing of the drug. It's Leprovillin. I can't say it properly. TAP paid a total of 875 million. That guy weren't lying, which was a record high at the time. The 875 million settlement broke down to 290 million for violating the Prescription Drug Marketing Act, 559.5 million to settle federal fraud charges for overcharging Medicare, and 25.5 million reimbursement to 50 states and Washington, D.C. 25 million reimbursement to 50 states and Washington, D.C. for filing false claims with the state's Medicaid program. The case arose under the False Claims Act with claims filed by Douglas Durand, a former TAP Vice President of Sales, and Joseph Gerstein, a doctor at Tufts University HMO practice. Durand, Gerstein and Tufts shared $95 million of the settlement. There have since been various suits concerning the use of this drug, non-successful. They either concern the oversubscription of the drug or undue warning about the side effects. Between 2010 and 2013, the FDA updated the Lupron drug label to include new safety information on the risk of loss of bone density and Convulsions. The FDA then asserted that the benefits Luprorelin outweigh its risks when used according to its approved labelling. So there is controversy around this drug. Sorry about my language. Um, I'm not very good at reading. Um, I'm pretty bad as you can see. So yeah, we'll get back to it because now we know what it is. There's been some controversy and yeah, cases around it. So, okay. Is Lupron chemical castration? Yes. Right, so it is, that's what we were talking about. That's what we just read, sorry, okay. One of the drugs used is Lupron, right? Which mm -hmm. Damn. has actually been used to chemically castrate sex offenders. I'm not sure that we should continue with this interview because it seems like it's well, going in a particular direction. I can understand her wanting to get away from the situation, but it's not, I've just read it out. I know that's Wikipedia, but I've just read out what it says. And that is what it says. And he's just asking that question, which is straightforward and truth. You're choosing exploitive words drugs I give to I'm, kids. I'm choosing a chemical word that was in a dictionary. That's not a correct term for puberty blocking. Oh. That's what it says in Wikipedia as well. It does say that. As a pediatrician who takes care of hundreds of these kids, when you use that terminology, you are being malignant and harmful. But that's truth though. That's what it says there. It does say that. <laughs> that. That is what it is. I know she's trying to protect children and go about it the right way and what the field she's doing. I get that. But he's bit, he's, that's the truth. What would you rather have, a, a living daughter or a dead son? If this is what the professionals are saying, it's terrible emotional blackmail. It's a lot deeper than we all think, you know? It's not just A and B, which I can appreciate. Again, whether you like Matt Walsh or not, you should still be glad that this is being done, even if you hate him. You should still be glad that this conversation's being had. I've learned a lot. I've watched this and learned a lot of things I didn't know. I didn't know any of this stuff. I didn't even know what that drug was, What and I didn't know that. So it's, it's still educational purposes, regardless of how you feel about the subject matter. In 2018, a father in Canada was informed that a hospital would begin administrating 
hormone altering medications to his child. Fuck that. He didn't know. <laughs> According to a recently passed Canadian law, doctors can administer these drugs to children without parental consent. Oh my God. That's not a good idea. That's not a good idea. When the father spoke out, he was arrested and fined $30,000 for misgendering his 13 year old daughter. What is going on in the world, man? What is going on? Seriously. So my ex-wife brings my child into BC Children's Hospital. I get a call, is that they were gonna pump her full of cross-sex hormones within the hour. Fuck that. No. They will start injecting my child with cross-sex hormones and I have two weeks to respond with legal action if I so choose. What the heck? So this actually happened, this is absolutely psychotic in my opinion. I'm sorry, but it is. That you can't force someone to think the way you do. You can ask someone. Everyone has their opinion. I have mine, you have yours. That's the whole point of it all. But you can't dictate that you must think this way. You must do this. That's a dictatorship, mate. She is. The court ordered that she could do whatever she wanted. That's insane to me. One parent wants to affirm the trans identity, the other parent doesn't. Who wins that battle? The one who wants to affirm. Every time? Every single time. You shouldn't be rushing into this stuff. The first port of call I think should be counseling and psychiatric help. Not to say that they're crazy or nothing like that, but support, like emotional support. Don't rush. There's nothing wrong with me saying that. Don't rush. Maybe you come to see me because a destructive element of you is wreaking havoc in your life. I'm on the side of the part of you that wants to aim up, man. That's what I'm on the side of. Jordan Peterson is a G. Whether you like Jordan Peterson or not, he's one of my favorite human beings alive. I could listen to him talk for flipping days. That we're even talking to the kids about it at 10. They're, we're presenting it in schools. So this generation, they're the, they're the lab rats. Jesus Christ. Gender is not a good word because it's vague. It isn't measurable. So do we need it? Why can't we just say temperament? What do we even need the word gender for? Well, I don't need it. You can have a masculine temperament if you're a woman. I'm very feminine. I'm very feminine. For a guy, I'm very, very feminine. Because if I see a good looking guy as well, I'll be like, like, I don't care, it's just how I am. So what you see is that only experts who toe the party line and say the things that activists like, those are the people who get attention, those are the people who get lifted up in the media. What she just said there, that's exactly like that congressman. He says enough to get people on his side, but when he's asked the difficult questions, he won't answer them. All right, fair play, if that's what he wants to do, he's earning a good living and he's got a good life. He's in a position of power, good for him. I respect that, he's got his grind, I respect it on that front. But it's not honest, is it? If you're not able to deal with the, the bigger picture and face those difficult questions and answer them honestly, it's not genuine. It's not genuine in my eyes. Trans is a way of, of, of giving yourself value given the way society at the moment is functioning. It's worrying, isn't it? Now we are seeing kids that are identifying as animals going to school and they are purring instead of answering questions and they meow. In the context of like very young kids, you know, meow, being silly and that's what kids do. If it's <laughs> 12, 13, 14, 15 and you're at school doing that and saying you want to identify as a cat or whatever and it's, what is going on in the world? Am I going crazy? What is a woman? What is a woman? Marry one and find out. <laughs> So I should go home and ask my wife, I guess. Yeah. That's brilliant. Marry one and find out it's headache. It's women for you, isn't it? Hey, I've been uh, meaning to ask you this. something. Uh-huh. <laughs> what is a woman? An adult human female. Who needs help opening this? So simple. <laughs> it's such a simple question. Daddy, daddy, daddy. Love it or hate it, it's good to have the conversation. And I think in society now, we don't really have these types of conversations enough. Check it out. As I say, it's on Daily Wire. I expect it will probably be on services to rent soon or something like that. It's called the Matt Walsh documentary, What is a Woman? I'm going to leave it there. So. 
subscribe to the channel if you've enjoyed the video and let's talk about it down in the comments because I'm sure there's going to be a lot to go over oh my brain is like fried so I've got about three this also was an hour and 20 minutes I've recorded nearly three hours because there's so much it's just been so much to talk about all right thank you very much for watching my name is Ramon this is Hit or Miss TV I'll see you guys again soon peace